there. Today we're talking about the sustainability rating of birds of a feather. So I reviewed birds of a feather um, about a day or so ago. I'll leave a link in the um, cards above so you can go and check that out if you'd like to learn more about the game itself. But right now we're going to talk about the production of birds of a feather and how it did environmentally. So I have a 10 star rating system for environmental sustainability when it comes to board game production. I also have a video about that. So if you'd like to learn more about what I'm looking for in board games for their sustainability, you can learn more in that video. Birds of a Feather got a total of six stars out of 10. And let me tell you, this is one of the highest sustainability ratings that I've ever been able to give to a board game. Most board games get two to three stars. The first star is because they clearly stated the raw materials that went into the board game. You can see on the back of the box there's an FFC logo mixed, which means there is a mixture of recycled paper and FFC paper that went into the cardstock and the chipboard of this game. Wood is the most used raw material in board games, so this is the most important thing that a publisher can do to make the game more sustainable. The second star is because there was no, there's no plastic components in the board game. And the third star is because they reduced the amount of plastic on the packaging of the game. The stickers on the side of the box are a polymer, but there was no shrink wrap or plastic bags in this game. Instead, they used paper bands and it was shipped in a cardboard box with no plastic packaging. The four star is because there's no plastic box insert. This is a really bad habit in the board gaming hobby to put these neat little shaped plastic inserts into our board games. They bloat up the size of the game and some of them work and some of them just absolutely do not work. And in the end, it ends up being a piece of cheap plastic that is not desirable by recyclers. The fifth star is because they did not use spot UV printing on this box at all. So spot UV has a polymer added to the printing process, which is essentially a microplastic. It is for aesthetics only. And I'm really happy to see when publishers skip this option because it's not needed for the enjoyment of the game and it is extra plastic. The sixth star is because the manufacturer used a mixture of renewable energy in the production of birds of a feather, including solar and wind and water. That's really great to see. I'm very glad that that information was included in the Kickstarter. So all in all, birds of a feather did great as far as sustainability. They really used a lot of nice sustainable options that are available to manufacturers, and it was wonderful to see. The only comment that I would make is that Snow Bright Studios does not have a sustainability statement on their website yet. I really wish they would put that on their website. I wish they would talk about their efforts because they're rare and they're so important to this industry. Thank you so much for watching the sustainability rating of Birds of a Feather. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.